Yes. I live again. Yes. All right. So now I'm going to pollinate our link across the many, many areas where I pollinate my link. Do, 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 I threw I threw out the usual friends who asked who asked to be spammed about this. Ehelecte. So I considered some friends that are more willing to watch this kind of stuff. The friends of the true true. Yep. <laughs> Though it is can now, we do have an imp named Google who gives thoroughly unhelpful answers. Um, no, it's not. Imps can't talk. They just make little guttural sounds. Yeah, no, he... We ask him questions, and he, we don't really get a response. Yeah, they, they just obey. As, as long as they're happy with us, they, they just do the job. Well, I mean, you, you're you pretty sure you saw one, like, sneaking a drink to themselves the other day. Like, they're, they're also up to something, you think. Yeah, like... Oh, a drink here and there is not gonna, like, be a negative. It's only if they all become rampant alcoholics within, like, a week. Then we'll know there's an issue. But the occasional drink is, is perfectly fine. It, it boosts morale. I was wondering why I heard the bullets, because I forgot to mute the stream while I was lurking. <laughs> well done. It's, it's like, why do I hear my... Why do I hear him in stereo? <laughs> why, why do I hear a, like, two high-pitched English voices, what the fuck? Well, I'm schizophrenic, so I genuinely thought I was hearing Google. I was like, what? Oh. Is my head repeating itself? What is happening? It's like, oh, oh, right, there's the big mute button I meant to press. Oh god, it was the, it's the bite of 87 all over again. Look oh wow, me. Jason Muse is live on Twitch playing Fortnite. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, never mind, no, he's not. He's hosting someone. Okay, okay that's way better. All right. Yeah. It says he's live playing Fortnite, but when you click into it, he's hosting. I was like, what? He's a streamer, huh? No, he, he is a streamer. Yeah, it's, it's just that, um, it's... Ooh, it might be his kid. No, this man looks older than he does. Oh, well then shit, no. <laughs> this person is like... There's like a full-grown man sitting there playing. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to send that in your. Oh my god. Chat. All right, so. Welcome, one and all. We're about to get started. So, we, we are Wicked Sales, and these are the Wicked Ones. Uh, Wicked Ones, would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh,. Let's let's set a little scene real quick as the the three of you are standing around the map room in your sanctum. Would you like to describe yourselves ceiling. real quick with a with a leaky ceiling. Yeah. There's a trip, trip, trip. It, 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 it's part of the wonderful ambience of the map room. So at some point you'll grow to love it. Don't worry. Yeah, but it does bring down our property value. Yeah, yeah, that that barely matters. The only value that we need is monetary value. Are we selling our dungeon? No. Why do no, we but it is the good value to... if we're not selling? Well, it is good to keep track of a real estate value. We're killing people in here. Doesn't that lower the value? No. Not no, actually, it does. This is a CO2 no, hazard. That has to bring the real estate value down. Like, in this neighborhood... <laughs> I mean, there's some fucking random kobolds keeps running in the forest every once in a while, just setting fires to shit and laughing maniacally. Yeah, that's like, that's still a project that he's like doing. Like every now and then, he makes his his offerings to the fire that ever grows on the beach. Anyway, so yeah, no, I'm going, I'm going to uh, t poke at the little flag that that says fishing village. Uh, do we have the the map posted to the Oh yeah, let me. Like the uh, that the overall be... map that we can post to them. It should be there. What do you mean post to them? Oh no, we don't. We haven't made a, a marked overall map yet. No. 
Yeah, no, so we're, I'm poking at the smaller of at the uh, two islands b beneath the big crescent. At, and I'm poking at uh, that. Well, well, I asked you to describe yourselves. Too. Can you describe yourselves, please? Sure. So yeah, no, there's a there's a very barnacled skeleton uh, sta wearing like a very fancy uh, kind of like golden embellished hat with a nice cra like crab uh, chitin um, brim sitting and some nice some nice finery clothes uh, sitting sitting at the table poking pointing at things going hmm yes boss and I boss and Max and I believe we should strike this village <laughs> and um, uh, we have there's a kobold in this in this map room who's agreeing and nodding his head like he understands what's exactly what's going on even though he's partially confused just a um, kobold he's... like what is this kobold emblazoned in Oh, um, he is, he's not completely covered, but he has tattoos, like, on him, like, on his body, on, on, and he's, like, drawn all over his robes with what you can only presume to be cold water, um, or something of the sort, or maybe, I don't know, cold sap, who knows. But, um, he's drawn all sorts of weird symbols everywhere of varying sizes, no idea if the big ones are more important than the small ones, um... He just kind of went with what he could do at that moment in a frantic haze of psychotic madness. Oh, man. And uh, he's... The best way to describe him is a priest. If a priest routinely, like, tried to sacrifice his own, like, flock and actively screamed and laughed at everyone and or set fire to shit because he thought it was funny. Mm. But he, 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 he's a religious boy. He, he knows what he's doing. He's, he's got plans of potential world conquest, which, you know, I think everyone kind of needs. We could work with him. But, uh, yeah, he's... And for our... He's cool. Third member. And Fergal! Yes. Hello. Thank you. Explain your your fungal form. You're a fun guy, correct? Yeah, Fergal's a tall, sort of typical typical mushroom, typical mushroom. You know the like a, you know these are those regular mushrooms you just see walking across town. You know, like yeah, but you know what I mean. He's, he looks like the he's the typical style of the mushroom with the cap with the red and white, tall, big, stumpy arms. His big, again, stumpy legs. Big, thick legs. No, thick boys. Dummy thick. Yeah, exactly. Um, he's a, not a man of many words. He, he just hits things, mainly. Got it. That's, that's for good. Excellent. Um, and and we we join the party in in the raiding phase uh of 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 life as um they've they've spent some time setting up their dungeon and preparing everything however it is now time to seek income and plunder Exactly. We need resources, we need equipment, we need all sorts of gubbins for the sake of progress, advancement, and world domination. Yes, the Gelflings. Yes. Also shinies for the sake of shinies. Yeah, that's it. But well, um, we also need alcohol for the sake of, well... We, yeah. we need a lot. We, we, we need a lot, but we need to... There's a laundry list possible. forming already. Yeah, <laughs> there really is. Like... We need more imps, we need more materials, we need more alcohol, we need more fire, like, we need more... Oh, he's got Kaya Ken. Oh, God, God damn it. There's an imp. Yeah, there's there's one strange imp that just screams, That's Kaya Ken! Simpsons did it. She screams weird things, it's weird. We, we're okay, not quite gibberish. sure what the imp is saying, but it's gibberish. 
Yeah, so anyway. Not one of the imp I'm too scared to bring into one of those. I'm poke. So yeah, no, I'm gonna. Hello? No, so. It was rumbling beneath me. Can't be an earthquake because I don't get. We're in a tectonically, I'm in a tectonically stable area. Ooh. It, it'll be good. Don't, wo don't worry about it. Mm. Maybe the world is ending. No, no, it's probably just a raccoon. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Whoa, hang on. That's, that's one chunky raccoon. Hang on. <laughs> How can you confuse a raccoon with an earthquake? <laughs> It's a really dummy thick raccoon, okay? That's How a really that big work? raccoon. Even then, what's it doing? Uh, uh, Jumping? That, it could it could also be directly beneath my feet. Yeah, it could be rustling the boards and like making a fuck uh, uh, a frightful ruckus. Yeah, no, it it occasionally happens. Yes. Uh, it's just like it's just some critter scum. Anywho. <laughs> Uh, stay on target. Sorry, no, I I thought that I thought it was something much more major than it was. It's okay. You thought you were gonna die. It turns out there's a raccoon underneath your feet. Yeah, but as, as you do, as, um, right now Bozen is like pointing at the map. Okay. Yeah, he's po he's pointing at the um, the upper of the two islands beneath the crescent, uh, on the coast. And he says, "This village." This village probably has lots of shiny things for me to steal. And we do need that. We need that a lot, actually. So we're yeah. gonna go over there and kick its ass. We're gonna grab its things. But how do we take the shinies? With our hands. But also with other things. But, um... I think we need a some sort of object that we can hold things in. Oh damn! <laughs> I feel like this this raid plan needs a little more detail. Yes, but um, do you need detail? But yeah, Loggins is gonna bring out a a book. It's not his religious book. It he's wrote on it um, book of plans. He has been working on this in his in his off time. D don't worry, only two pages are filled in, even though it's like a 300-page book. So you know he's got a lot of plans ahead. And he's going to open it. He's going to point at it. He's going to point at the fishing village on the map. And he's going to go, Okay, I know how we're going to do this. I have a plan. Let's hear it. We're going to go over there, and we are going to talk to them. And Do you know Light Tongue? Your... I actually don't know if I do. Yeah. Um, unless it says you're fluent in Light Tongue, you're not. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, then I definitely don't. <laughs> well, we could still talk. We never said they would understand us. Exactly. It'll be a short conversation. Yes, it will. Or and like, and while they're trying to understand us, we shank all of them, or we shank the ones that come near us, and then we grab what they own, and we run, we run away. That works for me. I just go in a very brief and out of character like lucid state that Bose and Maxilla occasionally has or as if almost like a person like popping up from air for like half a second before going back down under for a uh, in the realm of madness into a sea of madness he just goes wait a second what if we what if we went into a building and took all the stuff inside of the building. You're a genius. All hail this person for coming all, up with all, such good ideas. 
I know. Right? Um, but yeah, like a and like a like a storage, like a storage room, because that always has good stuff. After all, I would put good stuff in a storage room, which means they definitely. So so let let's let's expedite this. Yeah. Uh, As the goal, the, the goal, and the target. So the first step is uh, i mean you've already you've decided to tar a, a target so what are we trying to get here what's what's the goal as we turn over to look at the vehicle bay with the yeah, like, we submarine that's fighting. missing uh, missing parts yes how like, is a fishing village going to do that for you well our best bet would be any kind of any kind of like small scale shipwright area or uh docks for for ship repair would be a prime thing to to hit yeah uh, they'll have not only treated wood for boats but they might have um metal to like repair any kind of like bigger like ship and that might wander in uh, into port one day um they'll be uh There'll definitely be a lot of like smaller things like nails and and like and um, other like smaller building materials, which will always help in the construction in the vehicle bay. And mm -hmm. okay, so so you're 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 just hoping they have a ship right, or, or just ship or just um basic ship repair yeah. facilities, and and then we just grab that and. We just grab as much as we can and leave. Essentially, and and uh, on the way on the way out, we might on the way out. Let's we set a few fires, cause some chaos. Uh, a since we're okay. so since we're so small in number, it's more about getting get out before anyone can get their shit together. Okay, so so the plan's going more towards a uh, a strike, like a quick in out. Yeah. We just don't have we don't have large numbers of minions or okay. To, um... Then riddle me this: How are you going to get to the shipwright quickly enough? Essentially, he would be near the port. So essentially, we just essentially just run a ship right next to it, drop the plank, run in, run out. And pray that the wind is in our favor. Sorry, I heard a loud slurping sound behind me. The doggo was like, I need this. He, he heard Bone Man. <laughs> yes, he did. But yeah, like, essentially, like, we're just paddling this fucking tiny boat as quickly as we can to shore. And then hopefully just as quickly off the shore once we're done. Essentially, we will have a very small window of time to to do the actual looting and, and okay, pillaging. Okay, but how are you getting there? You didn't answer that. Uh, um, wait. Probably have with, have like, some... a, a rowboat, I would say. Well, no, 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 I don't. It's a defended port with a bunch of people there. How are you going to get there and get away? Like, you're, you're pro... how are we going to handle the large amount of resistance? A small fishing village yes yeah it, it, it's, it's tier two so it actually does have like defenders yeah um yeah like it has for all you know it has a fort like that's something well, to keep in mind as i said our current our current best ally is speed yeah but it's, it's like, that, like that. how do we actually do it like yeah how do we get in fight? so we could do this well, this could actually be uh, solved in a new way. What if we did it, and this is a revolutionary idea, at night? <gasps> Nighttime raid, climb over the wall kind of deal. Okay, now wall. we're talking. I'm making I like some badass tunes while we do it. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is like Boson, Ma Boson Max like, presents it as if this is a revolutionary idea. Yes, yeah, so like, and I imagine the fort walls aren't too big, so we could probably like climb over them with like some assistance of it with each other, like hoisting uh, each other up. We we can probably fit a ladder onto the boat. 
you know, climb over the wall, on the other side, unlock the door, so we can actually run out at it without having to reclimb the wall again. Grab what we can, get out of the door. Hopefully, they've not closed the door by that point. Are you gonna just pile it. things on carts and run out into the jungle and go to yes. your ship? No, we're... Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, though we are, though I do have one job for Loggins. That's definitely up his alley. I am perfectly willing here. to do this. Bear with me. Yes, we're uh, going. Make hole in wall. Idea? No. That is make good. Hole. That that could yeah no no that could work. Um. But what I was thinking for logins was that on our way out we used logins to light things on fire. Well, yeah, obviously. To, but this would have the effect of getting any kind of responders to shift priorities. Even if it's only for like a few seconds, it's a few seconds extra to run the fuck away. It's a, it's a few second seconds extra to get get out. Okay. Uh, so the this way is we came in. this is more stealth then, because you're you're slipping in, you're doing it at night, and you wanna you wanna go. And you want to slip in through through like the the, the jungle gate so that you can hmm. get it open and get out. Okay, so we're we're forming a good plan here. There we go. And, so and it, do you split up or do you like? Well, I mean, I guess you kind of are for a second because you wanna you wanna have login set a diversion. Yep. Um, I think and the other, will be by himself, yeah. And the other thing would be, um, we, we probably want someone near the gate so they can't close it on us. Maybe someone who's strong. So, Me strong. And have what and has minions that can that can assist in him holding the gate. Me minion strong man. <laughs> Funny enough, that wasn't me in character. I forgot how to speak for a second. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that was my brain like, actively I, melting. I, I, yeah, I meant to say my character is strong, but it came out as me strong. Me strong. <laughs> me. You're, you're root. returning to monkey. I'm proud of you. Return <laughs> to monkey. So much, my brain is broken even more than it already was. Uh, Your brain is actively melting in, in its skull. I'm sweating so much. I'm actually so hot right now. <laughs> like, I have two windows open and the air conditioning on, and I'm still fucking sweating. Oh, jeez. That's, that's the power of 28 degrees Celsius. It fucking that's, destroys the UK. Yeah, 20, 20, and that's being Irish. Throw on top of that. Like a shit. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry, I genuinely have to catch my breath here. Okay. It's okay, man. Yep. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we got two pair of wicked XB from last session. Um, I'm pretty sure I I handled that for you. It wasn't on my sheet. Was it? Yep. I just it was all white, so I just put a pair of little black ticks in the wicked XB, so it's two. Um. Where, where are you seeing that? Ah, okay. Yep. So, our. But yes, no, our best bet is to. It's kind of like a. Uh, we sneak in, then we smash and grab, essentially, is, is kind of the idea. Okay. Yeah, like we've got a nice, I, a nice good idea for the plan. We go in in the, in the middle of darkness, get over Kinda the wall, raid shit, open the door, run out of the door, run into the jungle, get back on the boat, escape, revel in our glory. Like, pretty solid don't, plan. Uh, don't forget the fire part. Oh, don't, don't worry, I can't. That, that is probably Logan's favorite part. It, it, it is. Okay, we have to say... Why, right now we're discussing the only thing that is hundred thousand percent definite is fire. Okay. Yeah. Like I will happily set one hell of a distraction. I just pray I survive it. 
unlike the person dying of smoke inhalation behind you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, the, um... Okay, why am I... When we enter, there? since we don't have any real idea of the layout of the place, I can probably... I can... I'm pretty good at looking at things. So maybe I can... I can look at... I can look for a building that looks like it might have what we want. Which huh. is ship uh, ship repair slash ship right uh, supplies. Hmm. All right, then we're all right. Are we are we ready to launch the plan? Are 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 we ready for engagement? I believe we are. Okay. Do 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 do. All right. So. Um. Let's see here, because mixed is okay. oh okay. So this this is, you're starting off on equal footing, and uh, so let let's let's set up a good good raid scene here. That uh, let's start at the uh, start at the wall or who was climbing up the walls first? Uh, I guess I would, since I need to. I need to look for a for a building or anyone who's much more us, but also could go with anyone who's better being sneaky than me, hmm. which isn't hard. Uh, I'm a little sneaky, so I don't. So I, I don't mind. I don't mind climbing the wall first. It it kind of fits that the that the religious fanatic is the first one to jump into action, you know. It is on point, yes. Like he doesn't think he'll ever get in trouble, so he just gonna do what he wants. The greatest of the geek, but the worst yeah. of the greatest. I have so, zero yeah, in skull. You'll be uh, logins. And yeah, logins. You, the scene starts with with a little kobold head poking up. Over the 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 wall, as you're on the other side, you look over and you you see the 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 like the essentially a small town, as it's 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 nightfall of course, so there there aren't that many people around. Um, every now and then you see lanterns like shining light from different streets moving as people are on their nightly patrols, and you also see in the in the shadows just drunkards and people passers by that clearly have no, like, way to see you. Uh, I have an idea. It'll cost me one stress. Uh -huh. But I can take advantage of Logan's stealthiness. Ooh. I'm going to take off my head and pass it to Logan's. <sighs> okay. All right. I, have a, I have a skeletal head as he as he chucks his own head up to the wall, and I just catch it. As I as I, yeah, I just pop off. Yep. If foes and magic isn't the ladder, then yeah, you really you have uh you have your friend skull. Alas, yep, I, I, I knew thee well. Yep, I, I've got him under my I've got his head under my arm because uh, unfortunately, as a kobold, I'm rather short, so his head is actually a significant like size to me um but the so, eyes the eyes are good peepers yes they are and um once he's gone on top of the wall yep he's going to immediately like climb down or knowing my look uh fall down oh you yeah, you you falling over uh, he's yeah he's essentially he's jump he's jumping off to like land inside the town proper now oh there's a nice little like um uh, walkway, so so you just can ah, lower cool. yourself down, and you're 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 there. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, he'll he'll go down the walkway, and now he's on the ground floor, or well, the ground of the uh the town. Already, his desire to steal everything is flaring up. Um, that that's just a fact. Yeah, and you can you can see uh that there's a uh there's a gate. And uh, it, it's a very large, like iron bar gate. And on the side that you're standing, there's a single, like large militiaman that's sitting in a chair, and he's 
got a got a gun resting on his lap, and he's just kind of staring off into the jungle through the gate. Hmm. So we still haven't got the jungle, so he can't see me at the moment. Yeah, he's he's like looking, he's fixated. Like you would have to stand right in front of him for him to notice you. Yeah. Okay. I am gonna try and knock him out. Ooh! So, pray tell how. Um, you have a you have what? You have a human skull in your hand. Yeah, I do, and I also have my big book, which is very weighty and full of full of <laughs> glorious knowledge and depth. So I think the kobold is just gonna he's gonna sneakily like crawl up like a goddamn animal towards this guy, stand up loft like hoist his book high into the air with with as much stretchiness that his arms will allow him and just slam it down onto the back of this man's head go for it Ro roll roll me an action roll what this, this sounds pretty like skulky uh what yes it does yeah so uh here we go that's a six yeah he you indeed like he doesn't notice you coming like just Bonk, and he he like a brick falls out of his chair. Yep, and I then quickly put him back on the chair. Yeah, so it's not it, too obvious. It takes it takes a little effort, but you hoist him back on. He's a heavy boy. Yeah, and um, then I'm going to try because you said it's like a, it's a big iron bar, right? They're like big iron. The the the, uh, the gate is iron bars. Yes. Okay, and there's and is there like a lever or anything like that to like lift it up, or is it like a another kind of mechanism? Um, it's it's got like a big wooden like like bar that's that's holding it shut. You could easily lift it. Okay. It's on a swivel. Okay, so okay, I'm not gonna open it right now because that will look a bit obvious if anyone ever look if everyone ever walked over. They're like, hey, why is the fucking gate open? But I'm gonna make a mental note of that for now. And I'm just going to look at the skull. I'm just going to say, I have took out the bad man, or the good man in this case. Um, so, I hope you're those... hearing me. I said, don't get both Max Lay, like, to, to say much, because he will, he doesn't understand the the, uh, the concept he... of an inside voice. Yeah, no inside voice. <laughs> and he's going to go, now I'm going to look for things. Now I shall and... use my... My my glorious sockets to spot our target, as as uh, the his his skeletal body outside is like does this for a head that doesn't exist and starts like leaning over to peer, and and you you hear you you hear a gruff voice shout out in light tongue down the street and so that that prompts log is just scurry into a bush. Yeah, I fucking immediately jump into a bush. Like, it's there's not even a second thought or hesitation. It's just immediate hide. Does, does that, I'm just playing to my character. Like? He does not understand the concept of inside voices. <laughs> All right, and so you're 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 in. So so let's. So how how are you gonna? How are we gonna get into this shipwrights? Like, uh, what, what's the plan, guys? You're in. Um, but first, yeah. I, I want to see if I can do something. Yes? It's a tier one magic thing. Ooh, you like to cast a spell? Yes. Ooh, please describe the spell you wish, you wish to cast. A spell of jealousy. Pray, tell me more. Yeah, yeah, this they're... guard's around here, like, they've been working here for god knows how long. It's quite peaceful. They want something better. So I'm just going to make this spell that creates this illusion that I'm, I'm, I think it can only affect like maybe like one or two people. I don't think it can affect many. But um, yeah, one of these guards has been getting preferential treatment lately. Like he's been getting some pretty nice bonuses. In fact, he's getting some really nice things, and everyone else is being denied them. Due to some other due to some other thing from like the captain or whatever. Okay, so the guy that that like investigates the sound and sees sees the guard, he just kind of shrugs and turns back. You're gonna cast a spell on him to make him all jealous. 
yeah, I'm gonna make him jealous of like the like the other people around him because he's not getting what they're getting. Bastards. And he wants that shit. Absolutely. Like, roll, roll me, roll me in into um. No, it's invocation. An invocation roll, yeah. please. Mm. Uh, three mix. <laughs> I was really hoping for a six, there, God damn it. So it, it's so it's a yes, but so so yeah, he he is extremely jealous. He starts muttering in light tongue. But but what's what what do you think the catch is, Loggins? Uh, I I think the catch is is that. Um... It's 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 unfortunately a little too internal. Like he's not gonna really lash out much. Yeah. Like he'll complain, but he's not gonna like actively start a fist fight. He's not he's not actually gonna like um act on his own impulses. He just has them now. So maybe if something does happen, like maybe if one of the guards does get treat preferential treatment in that moment, maybe that will cause him to lash out. But until then, this is just something he's just keeping yeah. to himself and he's bitter about he's not actually like angry as fuck as i'd wanted him to be he's just bitter yeah still that that was that was pretty good as yeah he he storms off down the street and he's muttering to himself and uh he's back on his patrol route it looks like yeah and um in that regard i'm gonna quickly talk to the to the skull i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna open the gate very quickly to let you guys in but then i'm gonna close the gate so they don't realize the gate was open. So you better be on the other side of the gate. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Well, you're talking to the one person who can fit through the gate. <laughs> exactly. That's so true. Bosun could have just walked through the gate the whole time. It's just there was a guard there. Yeah, and no. So, um, I already like paid the stress. Gonna... So I'm already in pieces. <laughs> that is true. And so Loggins is going to start opening the, the gate. Yeah, you uh, swing it open, let everyone in, yeah. Yeah. While that's happening, can I use scan to kind of like, you, with my skull kind of in an aloft position? Like kind of, hmm, now what looks like, what looks like what we, has what we want? Um, like, where I mean, is that building in regards to everything else? I mean, you can only see a couple buildings at this point. You you'd want to like cl climb up under the walls, and and peek from there. Maybe a t uh, maybe a taller, like vantage point, because all because you don't really know the. It's been so long since you've been been human. Like you can't remember what buildings what anymore. All right. So yeah, no, I need to actually look because I don't really know how to read signs anymore. Yeah. I mean, you get every now and then you see a word and you go, ah, I know that one. <laughs> Just, uh, as I said, I have a zero in skull because I'm going to play it as he does not understand inside voices. So if he if he gets like an, a eureka moment, he's going to say it out loud. That's great. Um, so, so for the scan, like, I don't know. Do you want to like climb up something? Like, like, tell me more. Yeah. Tell me more. I'm gonna get up onto a nice, like, kind of secluded vantage point where I can. Uh, do I do I even have a spyglass? No, I do not. Um, I'm gonna say that you, yeah, you you have a spyglass. Like, it's not a particularly good one and you had to like shake it for a while to get the water out but you have one yeah it's like a big part of the glass is covered with like barnacles and sea just sea rot mm -hmm. so as i as i uh yeah no i'm actually gonna pull out a spy glass from on top of the wall and just start looking in at the town as, as i thoroughly push it to like into my eye socket all right Roll, roll me a scan. Yeah, Six. you're you're able to get up there, and uh, yes, you you in fact 
see what has to be the right building because from this angle you can see like a mast like popping out like parallel to the chimney and you couldn't see that before and that if anywhere was a ship right that has to be it and it's just a block down the road Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to I'll then clamber down, and I'm going to proclaim. If oh. anyone wants, to, unless anyone wants to stop me. Um. Question: What is your ah? Yes. So um, you don't even make it that far. You have you are compelled. I, f I compel you to act in a deranged way and and proclaim that you have found it. That is exactly what I'm going to do. I, I was going to do that anyway, so yes, no, I was exactly... <laughs> I'm actually going to proclaim that I have found our loot, our... our where we should raid. So let me see, I that's page 56, and I think you get something for that. Ah, I believe you get a dark heart for that. Um, yes, you follow through on the impulse, so you gain a dark heart after you proudly, in Dark Tun, echo this throughout the, the town. <laughs> and, and loudly mention, say the word in Dark Tongue, raid. <laughs> Which is not a good sign for anyone who understands that word. They might hear it every now and again from, like, marauding. Yeah, I, I imagine marauding dark, uh, creatures. And but no, the he's moment... loudly and proudly going to proclaim, "I found where we are going to attack and raid." Hell yeah! And on that moment, I will begin my distraction before he becomes the distraction. Don't you want to have the stuff in your arms before you set the fires? Oh yeah, that's true. I kind of do. I mean, you I could set the fires it. now, but it changes the plan slightly. That that is true. Now the plan okay. is, we run yeah. for it. Yeah, and we do, and we should obey the plan. The plan is important. The Without plan... the plan, we are just anarchists, for do, like flailing around like headless chickens. We have to be more civilized. Now follow me as we play. Our, as part of the, the plan dictates, you must run and run and scream as we grab an item <laughs> exactly <laughs> flailing around like headless chickens yeah because because um, I, I... well the thing is you're you're right you're you're right to panic because very soon a bell like the church bell starts ring da dung da dung da dung da dung like like someone heard you and didn't like what what maxilla had to say <laughs> so let us run to this ship, right? Yeah, no, yeah, it's only be... a block away, so we're just going to start... We're going to run in and essentially just boot in the door. Turkle, would you like to do anything? Ah... Uh... Not... Uh, is anyone... We don't see anyone yet, right? Well, I mean, well, the they're, three they're... of you turn the corner, and you can, you can see that there are, like, people running around like shouting at each other trying to figure out what's going on yeah but like no one's running towards us not towards you specifically no you haven't been spotted yet what are we looking at for walls again like are, is every wall like any stone wood is there um, any points that we can visibly see well the wall uh, all of the walls here are um have like stone brick bases and then it's built up with wood upwards and a lot of these buildings have like um, tresses for um, for plants and gardens and such. Um, like there's a lot of wild gardening near the, the the like footpaths, and it's supported by these these tresses. So it, it it's not too hard to like ignite or climb these. Okay. Uh, but there is this thing called a door that we're standing in front that we're going to soon be standing in front of. <laughs> yeah, like we, we, we do have a, 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 a more proper way out. Um, oh, I wasn't uh, thinking of climbing. I was thinking of knocking, trying to tip over buildings or shit. <laughs> See if there's any like watchtowers I could ram and just tip. 
this this mushroom just hulking. Is there any like moment. towers or water towers or? Um, I'm gonna say that yeah, there's uh, kind of down the street. You can you can see that there's there's a little park and there's a large like water tower that they have set up, and it's connected to like a little drinking fountain. All right, I want to try to get there and ram into a leg. Is it fire? Um. It you could easily hit it with a with a ram, like if you if you gain speed yeah. That's what I would like to do then. All right, then 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 roll me that there action. I am assuming I roll a smash. This sounds pretty smashy. I know. I, I got to be honest there too. Yeah. It is very smashy, but it's always good to double check. No, of course. That's 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 the way to do it. I mean, you'd have to describe it very carefully to be a banter, that's for sure. That's a five. Oh, we're all here for the salty semen, Father Jarity. Oh, hi, Father Jarity. <laughs> uh, that's that's my favorite. That's my favorite thing about submarines, don't you know? So what you just walked into, Father J, is we are now ramming our mushrooms into massive. That, that's true. Uh, Fergal is ramming his mushroom cap f into a tower to knock water over people. I'm trying to get everyone wet with my mushroom. Uh, yeah, He's there's there's some killing me. there's a lot of innuendo going on in this in in this <laughs> session. Archer style when phrasing. Game comes in, phrasing. phrasing becomes a fun game. <laughs> But, but, um, so this is a mixed, uh, yeah. what, what, I'd imagine the catch is everyone, like, like a bunch of people see you, but they, they just can't stop you. You're, you're, you're rushing like a bull down the street. Like, what are they going to do? Try and get in your way? I imagine it like, <laughs> like the Hulk where they're like jumping on top of him, trying to stop him. And he just carries them with him and just, ah. I mean, these the, a lot of these guys are just humans. Like they're they they're not yeah. able to to weigh you down. Exactly. You're a mighty like, fun guy. There's a specific scene. I think it is in the first Avengers where everyone just jumps onto Hulk and he just sort of goes, Bleh. yeah. And also, these are just regular human beings. If I saw a giant mushroom man like charging down the street, I'd be terrified of that. Like, <laughs> holy shit, that's that's. That's like three hundred pounds of pure fungus coming down the road. Yeah, because yeah. I because I imagine like he's a you've described him as a big stocky individual, so I I yeah. I'd imagine he's pretty hefty. So yeah, you're a, you you ram into it, water splashes all throughout the street and the park, and and um like a couple a couple one guy was like pulling pulling out his flintlock and then he gets doused with water and then he just throws it to the ground uh does it hit anything um yes it crushes the gazebo in the middle of the park <laughs> so that's good. always fun one did, okay i, I can put that I can imagine that on my sheet. One dead gazebo. Brilliant. I can imagine people from that quick on the gazebo, it's dry. <laughs> oh, never mind. We're destroying we their society. We are we are we have made a great success against their their uh imperialist gazebo society. Yeah. Damn gazebos. I'm I'm racist towards gazebos. Raid complete, we're out boys! We broke the gazebo. <laughs> At some point, we gotta do a raid that's just like super so fucking now my... deadly. So I yeah, do no, hope I'm going you guys to... realize this was a distraction for you guys to steal shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I'm, I'm not gonna pop open the door, essentially. Because yeah. um, I, realize, I, I realize I probably should have told you guys my plan before I just ran into a water tower. Yeah, no, I'm going to, um, I'm going to try, try with my bony fingers. Yes. Try and pop open the door. Um, Did he already lose a finger? Well, so here's the thing: is I'm gonna say that the door is unlocked. You're able to get in, and and yeah, no. 
in fact you saw people run out and down the street like like people are, are panicking for some reason around town not sure why um, um it's raining what's so scary about that uh and and yeah you you you're able to get into the the, the shipwrights and and uh, it doesn't take you very long to get your get all your goods into a wagon that they had for for moving things, um, like gathering components around town. So you've got a little I, cart now. Oh, we have a cart. Also, also, I am going to use this magical item I have found. I have discovered called a sack. I'm just going to start stuffing with things. All right. All right, the boat, the bosun swiping stuff. Uh, Loggins, what are you doing? Um, I, I'm I, like he runs into the into the ship, right? And unfortunately, like even though his dark impulse is not to fucking like grabbing the nail down, he is still a horrifically greedy individual. Well, klepto, kleptomania is is um a virtue for Gamosha, I believe. Exactly. So, what is the shiniest thing in... Actually, no. Um, yeah, describe I'm the gonna... shiniest thing. What are you looking for? It looks like you're looking for something good. Oh, yeah. Like, um, I'm going to say I'm grabbing a trophy. Okay, okay. <laughs> like this... It's 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 not made out of any, like, super precious metals. It's just, like, really shiny iron, let's say. But, like, um, it's a trophy of... Uh, Let's say a spiked salmon. Oh, that that I doesn't sound that that doesn't sound that valuable. Trophy. However, it may not sound valuable, but it is the treasured, like treasure prize of let's say the leader of this of this entire village. Like it, like it's like the most glorious thing they've got. <laughs> like like for an example, like like uh the victors of like saying we're the best fishing village in, around kind of like anything that says that you just gonna swipe any kind of like pride well, well then describe how describe this trophy fish why is it so extravagant um i'm gonna say that um the fit like like the the, the detail work is quite quite good and as a result the scales of the fish are actually um like of a of a of a rare metal or gemstone or something like that. Okay. Actually, maybe a gemstone. Yeah, maybe like um because it's like a like a salmon, and I think like some of them are red. Like there's like rubies essentially, like to make up like the scales. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. So here's the thing: is you do see this? It's it's high up on a wall where it's quite hard to get to. It also looks pretty damn heavy. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw my hat. So I'm gonna try and knock it down. Because even if I can't steal the entire thing, I can probably pry enough gems out of it to like feel accomplished anyway. Hopefully. Even if it's just colored glass, you're still gonna steal it. Oh god, yeah. Um. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my book at it to try and knock it off, like knock it off the wall. When in doubt, throw the book at it. Uh, it's it's a great mentality to have. So so, what action do you think this is? This this sounds kind of finessey. Um, yeah, it, it kind of does. But the way I'm also imagining it is that he is just throwing it with reckless abandon, like he like he's trying to throw it as powerfully as he can to try and knock it off because of how heavy it looks. So even though I'm not good at it at all, I'm gonna say this is him trying to like smash. This is him trying to like bash it off the fucking wall do you have dots in smash no i don't which is the Ooh. which is the problem so like, if I'm you obeying well, my own mental so image. here's the thing if you do if you go through with this you'll you'll get xp for that Ooh. that's that's why it, it's because if you because if i understand correctly in the wicked ones if you every time you try to do a particular um skill you don't have a dot in um it, you add a slash to it and on your third slash, it completes, and you get your first dot. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Like the, like the way I'm ima imagining it mentally, like he's throwing it as hard as he fucking can. He's not being precise at all. Okay, so, so you're um, just yeeting your book at it. Yes, I am. So, all right. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 
Um, well, you take the four, four, four but four, it's four, still four. mixed. Still mixed. So, um, so yeah, you it falls to the ground. All right, the 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 trophy falls to the ground uh, before you, but it damn is it loud. Oh god, yeah, this thing is like a it's like a nuclear bomb going off as soon as it hits the goddamn ground. Cause it it's more than sturdy enough to survive the impact, but the thud echoes throughout the th throughout, and even yeah. Fergal can hear a thud in the distance. <laughs> Damn, that's a loud piece of metal. And and even some of the guards look over and, and start shouting in light tongue. Yeah, How disgusting. Okay, I'm um, going to try and drag this out now. Because my, my desire will never fucking die. I'm going to try and drag this. So even what? You're going to just cradle it on your back and you're going gonna, gonna to just sprint down the street with it? Yes. Oh God. Hey, to, to Loggins, his job is done. Like he has a co he has done what he has set out to do. He has already caused a distraction, and now he owns something really fucking fancy. Like, I, I... he feels very accomplished. Uh, okay, as I'm. Okay, now here's where things are going to get interesting because I have a little something called gunpowder on me. Yes. Oh no. For them, I mean. <laughs> so I'm going to just grab this, like, essentially largish satchel gunpowder, just start sprinkling the. as if I'm, like, uh, throwing, like, mulch onto, like, plants. I'm essentially just going to be. Yeah. Just going to. Kind of. You're dousing it everywhere. Yeah, I'm just I'm dousing it everywhere, just going. <laughs> All right, yeah, you you do as, so. As I, as I as I wheel away with the cart, I'm almost like prancing with the gunpowder. <laughs> oh, just skipping and just throwing it behind you as as you go out. Yeah, so you you do so. You get your cart out, and it's it, you're you're standing directly outside. And, and you hear a, a shout like, hey, in light tongue, and you look over and there's there's two guys, two militia guys with 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 muskets and and they're they're, they're shouting at you in light tongue as you're just kind of a skeleton standing there with a cart of stolen goods. I am to start off. time to make a fireball as I as I draw my blunderbuss. They they see you draw your their your gun and they just try to go. Skeleton with a gun. Skeleton with a gun. Skeleton with a gun. <laughs> and what do you do with this blunderbuss? What do you shoot? Just powder. No oh. no shot. <laughs> I'm just I'm essentially turning it into a makeshift flamethrower. Oh yeah, so, so. Oh god! Yeah. Describe so, describe so this you, mental image. Yeah. So essentially, I've just packed this thing with powder. There's no shot, no nothing in there. It's literally just packed with powder. So it just creates this big, like, essentially ball, like, gout of of burning powder and fire coming out of the end of this trumpet-shaped muzzle. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, God. Who is the guard? Like the guards, are, like they've got their rifles pointed at this guy with a gun, the, and the skeleton just points it to the ground instead and fires. Like holy shit, that's got to be confusing to the yeah, guards. Yeah, because because he just goes blap and the and the the crackle crackle, and soon a chain of explosions catches the entirety of the shipwright inflamed with it within, igniting. Hayes and and store gunpowder storages and, and lumber, all of it goes up in up in flames, and the um, the <laughs> my evil plan has worked, and <laughs> the the two guards just kind of are are going to shoot at you actually because yeah. <laughs> they're like what what the hell is this, and 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 the, and the worst thing is the, the thing I imagine is. The explosion isn't even as loud as Loggins is in that moment as he sees the fire 
left and is just screaming out of pure joy. Um, then, then, yeah, the, the, the two fire out with their muskets and you're, you're going to get hit. Do you want to, do you want to roll resistance? Do you want to use, uh, your defense against wounds if you have one? I do not have a defense against wounds. I have a defense against minion mistakes. Ah. I have a hat, but I do have armor on me. Well, yeah, but it, it's not your gear defense. So, yeah, no, um. I'm going to try and kind of finesse my way out of this, essentially trying to kind of do a neat well, I need you. Of... I need you to roll the, the resistance roll, though. Oh, where, where is resist? Uh, it is a kind of roll. I, I, I'm not seeing it anywhere. When something bad happens to you or those nearby, you can spend stress to either partially or fully resist the consequence. Uh, uh, here we go. Describe what you do to resist it and choose an action that matches the description. Following these three rules, it makes sense, it wouldn't have a weak effect, and it's not the same action. So, so either you can take getting shot, or um, tell, tell me how you're resisting this. Okay. So, as you, as you know, gun, muskets are projectile weapons. I, I, I believe I've heard such claims. Yes, and they shoot a single ball, right? Now, looking at my frame, you may notice that there's a lot of gaps in there. There's actually not as much kind of meat, so okay. to speak, as they would think there is. So essentially, I'm trying to take this to essentially like an area like this where there's for a scale where there would be vital flesh for a human. There's nothing there for a skeleton. You're gonna turn. Essentially, I'm going to try, like, try and get out of the way enough where it doesn't hit my body. Instead, it kind of goes under, like, essentially goes straight through me. Okay. What what uh? What role do you think this is? What a what action do you think this is? And it like can't and it, it can't be finesse. Oh wait, no. Um. That's only, but only when the PC resisting it is the one that performed the action. No, okay, never mind. You can you can do that. I say it can't be finesse. Why? It can oh. it can be finesse. It, it's a it's one of the rules of resistance rules. Okay. Um, it's weird. Um. All right, so I, I'll try and finesse my my body in a way such that it's not going to strike. It might go through my clothes, but it won't strike me, per se. Okay, go for it. All right. That's a four. You must spend two stress to partially resist the consequence. Okay. And, uh... What does a dark heart do? Uh, dark hearts give you a die. If you want to spend them. I feel already rolled, so a little yeah. too late. At oh. least you know for next time. And uh, when it comes to getting hit, let's look at the consequence. Um, you are shocked by it. The the bullet like hits one of your inner bones and you feel weak for a second so you're gonna get minus one die on the next ro roll and after that shocks clear okay so yeah that strikes one of my ribs essentially yeah strikes underneath on a, on a low on um, one of my under and um, uh, ribs got it and I'm gonna say that's um that's going to affect uh muscle rolls specifically I'll just put a little black square right there, I guess. Uh, I believe so. Fill in the diamond. I think you. I think you fill in the diamond. I'm not sure. No. The only one I have any points in is finesse, so I'm guessing just. So the main thing I'm going to be doing is just now turning and sprinting down, down, sprinting towards the gate now. Uh, using this big ball of fire 
that are, that is now bewildering the guards. Yeah, as as fire belches out from from behind you, block blocking off their 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 way to to come after you. As I as I go, <laughs> as I as I basically skedaddle away, kind of with that nice little yeah. scrambly kind of noise. And and you find that Loggins left the the gate open, so you're able to just wheel right through off into the jungle. And uh, now, uh, Fergal the fungi, you're in the middle of the park. There are people like shouting at you, and and there's like a, a crowd around you, some bystanders, some militia, and they're all shouting at you. And you can't really understand what a lot of them are saying because you don't know light tongue. Like they're for all you know, they're saying how awesome you are. In fact, maybe that's it. No, they they're mad. Well, well, they're definitely I, mad. I think given the circumstances. They're they're definitely enraged. Okay. So there's bystanders around, there's okay. Yeah, there's all sorts of people here. I want to grab someone by the foot. Just like by the leg. Okay, and then and then what? Sling them over my shoulder and start to walk. You just want to casually walk away yeah. while swinging a motherfucker in your in your in your hand. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna throw them over my shoulder, carry them, and walk off. Okay. Oh. How? How? What? What if the militia tries to stop you? I kill them. I'm walking <laughs> out of here. I'm just gonna walk. If they're in my way, I'm walking. I, I like this. I like the simplicity of that. It's like, what would you do if the guards arrive? I'll kill them. <laughs> if they're in my way, I stop and I sprint. All right. What? What? Um. I'm like barging my way out of this. Okay. Then. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna say this is this is a smash. Well, Everyone got that. I want to have a person. So you had material goods. I have a uh, mortal good. That's a success. Then oh, I'm yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. You grab. You're able to grab the dude, and some guy runs up at you with a flintlock with a bayonet, and he starts to stab at you, but you could just bonk get him with your club. Perfect. And 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 he he just falls on the ground and everyone else is like screaming and 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 like they're pushing at the militia people to do something and they're just terrified uh cuz they they don't want to hit they don't want to hit the prisoner now. So yeah, Fergal is able to just slip right through the gate and and head off in the jungle. Music players. Jeez, what the hell are we going to do with a prisoner? Boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew. Tongue. They're going to teach me light tongue. That's what I got from here. <laughs> you are now Not my soup. educated language teacher. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got myself a teacher. Um, You guys don't you really have... Idiot? You guys don't really have a prison set up, so you're going to have to use them pretty soon. Or like, I have a big stick. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> That's the that's the dream in it. Yeah, if they go towards the exit. <laughs> I just match an object on your table. That was my Damn. fist. Okay, it so just like you hit something on the table. Yeah, I just went fist. bang. Straight down. I was actually holding my table, but I made bigger. Oops. Oh. <laughs> You've made your GM, point. As the GM was about to say. Ah, I, it's okay. I was I was doing math that loud. So you guys, oh. um, for your right now, your current loot, uh, your current loot value is five. Just kind of have that written down right now. Um, Does a person okay. count as loot value? I I I counted I counted them. Yes. That. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever had loot that can run away before. <laughs> You obviously hasn't seen haven't seen Danger Mouse. <laughs> seen Danger Mouse. Or ha or used a Danger Mouse. It is a, it is one of those pieces of loot that can sprint away from you screaming. Okay, I wrote I wrote okay. down the uh, the number. Yeah, it's in my notes. 
Excellent. All right. Blork, uh, you are able to get back to your ship, and you guys are, are on, on your way back. And hold on. I'm going to just... Uh, Roll. You're on your way back. Add. Hold on. I need to roll this real quick. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Did they... Oh, no. <laughs> um... Is, is, is that what... Is one of those a mix? A.K.A. Okay, yes, but... I think... I think... No. Three is That's a failure. Failures. Yeah. So, you, you're gonna suffer a major blowback. Oh, shit. Um... Let us quickly uh figure out what that's gonna be because that's gonna be fun um let's see your major blowback uh ah blowback can't be resisted okay okay oh, shit. are they gonna call like a bigger a bigger group of super friends to knock us out. Um. Okay. So. So I'm. So just file back in in your noodle. Uh, your noodle house that. Uh, that that you're you're getting a blowback. So. Um. You guys. Pull pull up to your island. You get everything offloaded. Um. The imps happily start wheeling everything, giant, giant trophy fish and all, down to the sanctum, uh, and you guys basically just start getting settled in as um, a a brave, brave human steps ashore of your island with with a a band a band of the militia. As it is the 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 brave mayor, um, La Larry Caldonis, Larry Caldonis, Mayor Caldonis. <laughs> he sounds very official with a name like Caldonis. Yes, I'm Mayor Larry Caldonis. Brave adventure that's going to take all of my people and loot back from these evil creatures. Yes. <laughs> Onwards, my men. God, he's the kind of guy that makes a that does like a, an hour long speech on the way there. My men, as we go towards this vicious place of evil. Meanwhile, uh, we are going to go to our dungeon map as you are in fact suffering a dungeon invasion Ooh. as blowback as as for your evil deeds arrows, as long as they follow the arrows like an ikea everything will be fine <laughs> as long as they obey the the, the 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 way it works we'll be fine not harold no um <laughs> Right. Okay, so let me let me look at my uh, dungeon responsibilities. Um, if I remember correctly, Fergal's got the uh, the trick at the beginning there. Uh, Loggins has the dua. Uh, you have the crab. Loggins has the the uh, creature layer that currently doesn't have a creature in it, I believe. Yeah. And um. We haven't had the chance. And layer. there are pirates uh, stationed in the uh, in the card guard post there. Um, I do. I also have a trap called the Hero Sandwich. Ah, yes, so, uh, the co corridor trap, the Hero Sandwich. That's there as well. In fact, I see it. Uh, let me. Ah, uh, oh, right. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the book that has the description of this trap, so I can hear it if it triggers. Like, we need to fully understand how a hero gets squished, you know? Yes, no, it's I... very I, important lore. I have a big book that dis of traps. I have been on the internet for some goddamn long, goddammit. Here we go. <sighs> evil plans, evil plans, evil plans. That's a different book. 
indeed. So, the, uh... Ah! Found it. Mayor Caldonis, lead my militia down. Down this dingy, horrid corridor at the beginning of the dungeon. Uh... Hey, it you know sucks! Sneaky, but we're trying. Hey, look. It needs like, a lick of I hate it. This is nothing like our homeland. It's so pristine and glorious, uh, my uh, lamp. <laughs> you will rule through the day. The day, in fact, that you attacked Melkor's tears. <laughs> and oh. so he's going to... They all file out into the 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 first the first room the trick fergal it is your dungeon duty please describe what's going on okay so as i decided before you go in and there's signs everywhere yeah it's like danger and warning and big scary words in dark tone you know the big and, you know, probably the basic bitch, like, you know, skull and crossbones of the sign and shit. Right. To scare people. And there's going to be noises coming from there. It's just going to be imps fucking around. But there's going to be, like, <laughs> noises coming from it. I love it. So, um, do I get to choose if they fall for my trick? Um, well, uh, we, I'm, let's, I'm going to roll the tear of the dealio um the the the, the militia start pushing against the mayor going we can't go this way we can't go that way we have to we have to go the other way the signs the signs but there's these signs they can't possibly be true and uh, the mayor's going to bravely walk the other way of the signs, and the militia are going to go, mm, and they, they, they burst off going towards the chapel. So, oh, he uh, split the party. yeah, he split the party. So, so the, uh, Hang on. so he went on his own. Yes. So he's going to be the first to die. Possibly. He's also about to be very disappointed as well. That's what's going to make it funny. His disappointment is going to be immeasurable, but it's going to be beautiful. So the militia run up into this chapel where there's all sorts of nice stuff, and they prod it for a little while, and then they keep going to the giant enemy crab. His name is Frank. It kills us, and it will kill them. It's the it is not. It is. It is not truly a denizen of the dungeon as far as he just naturally lives here and wants it, everyone it, to go away. Yeah, we kind of invaded his personal home and property. <laughs> and now we're taxing so, him like it's pretty bad on his front. He, he, this, so I guess it's my job to describe this giant enemy crabs. Yeah, so that it's, what does it do? How, do? how does it attack these these poor militiamen? It's going to... It's going to... um snip at them menacingly as it scuttles left and right kind of back and forth at them and before kind of turning a bit sideways and scuttling at them trying to do like a leaning snip at them okay he's gonna try and snip snip some of those juicy looking little limbs off of them mmm the uh, the uh it's not imposing enough as the militia go forth and keep stabbing at Frank, forcing him to retreat back down into into his hidey hole. It, oh, over the, over the loudspeaker. No, not Frank. <laughs> we don't have loudspeakers. We just have echoes, very loud echoes. <laughs> or, or like a How speaking tool. How terrifying would that be? Like, Out of the it's it's your... not Frank. Not and, Frank. And then the militia the cheer for a second. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck yes, fuck yes. And then they keep run running forwards into the uh, into the 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 hallway. I believe this is another dungeon duty of of mine. Yes, the Almighty Hero Sandwich. All right. So this is rated eight. Uh, quarter traps. Here we go. Oh, actually, uh, between a rock and the hard place, Bristol Memorial. 
Ah, uh, here we go. So once the, the militia kind of gap, kind of reach and gather in the center of the corridor, that entire center, center of the corridor is just going to quickly fall inwards, forming a forming a pit that's about like waist high. As as the floor in front of them and the floor behind them lift up off the ground, swinging towards their heads. Mm hmm. Oh wow. So the, the floor is is basically they they fall in a bit into like a, a wayside pit and the floor is essentially just bunk. Uh, but alas, it is they it is they not all enough. drop to the floor in in shock with everything dropping around all of them and it whooshes all overhead, crank, and they yep. they get up and keep moving. Yep, they duck they duck down the one way to get around this trap. Yes. Good job. Meanwhile, I, the Mayor Caldonis, have arrived at a strange door. What oh, yeah. is this strange door? Oh, is the captain at my at my at my at my? I door? am. Oh, brilliant. Okay, it is a large wooden door, where the, the vast majority of this door is a giant pirate skull, with various holes and. Um, what looks to be like things to insert thing, like insertion. Like there's like a, like a little, <laughs> there's like a shelf where the mouth is, where the teeth is, mm -hmm. and it's just and it's got like three, um, like wooden like coins, and on the actual head and there and on the door there's like twelve holes to insert these three things in. Hmm. Strange. Some kind of puzzle made by a Neanderthal. And it 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 works. It it um ah, I do not understand this strange riddle. Ah, I shall go the long way around. That mean does he trigger Frank again? Um, unfortunately, Frank doesn't come back, uh, for, until, until, um, recovery. Uh, I also don't know if the, the trap triggers again. I don't think it does. Essentially, uh, there's now just a new floor where the, where the, um, where the pit was. As the floors from before, before, like, in front and behind it have flipped over, forming, a, essentially, a new floor. Mm. That he can just walk over. Yeah, because he doesn't even recognize it as a trap. He just kind of walks yeah. walks over. Um, though, uh, there is a vicious battle between the militia and and the goblin pirates who um, engage in a in in a a, a frightening a frightening fight. Uh, But they are they're once again beaten back by the militia. Like those long bayonets keep them at keep them at bay. Uh, and the the pirate uh, the goblins break and start running running back towards the sanctum. Uh. Oh wait, actually, hmm, there is one thing. Fergal, don't you have some minions of your own? Yes. They were in the ostrich room. What did they do? I forget. What did what, what, what they say about my minions? Weren't, there? weren't they like vicious little shrooms that like yes, dissolved, like, like bit at your ankles and just consumed you? Yes. They had the little, the numbing saliva that makes you, when you realize it's too late, they just, yeah. Is it, they look down to realize that there's little mushrooms gnawing at their feet. Yeah, literally, they swarm you, and you're like, what the fuck? And you look down and go, oh shit, and realize you're being eaten alive. They're just gonna go at it. Like a feeding frenzy. Yeah, ro roll me an action for them. How do I do this? Uh, they have their own little section on, on your cheek. What would that be in? Mm. Top right? It's, yeah, but I mean, 
on my rolling finesse school retreat. Uh, up to you. How are they? How are they doing it? Yeah, I'll go finesse. I'm trying to bite the our, the Achilles tendon. Oh yeah, strike striking hard. Just trying to yeah. get in there and, and nip him. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of terrifying. Instead of just viciously attacking any part, they're actually going that's for important success. nerves. Poor for me, boy hunters. Um, oh, boy. so, um, the, the, the militia, um, are, are walking through the room and one looks back and one, and, and one's missing and he goes, Hey, where? And then he turns back and another's missing and he looks down and then the, fu the little fungus creatures tackle him and start gnawing on him. That's a terrible way to go. Evil mushrooms, huzzah! I've created a nightmare. As yes. as the militia <laughs> have been consumed by living mushrooms, uh, and then down the hall comes Mayor Galdonis. As I too shall do battle with you, fell creatures. Ah, have at thee! Uh, that the vile demon spawn. Vile shroom creatures that ate my crew. Don't be say that to my children. <laughs> I'll talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> All right. So how how are the shroomy boys gonna gonna attack? We're all just gonna bum rush them. They're gonna bum rush them with with what what yeah. with what action are they? Gonna finesse again and just swoop in. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Coordinated shroom attack. Success. Those little mushroomy boys are terrifying. I know they're so efficient. <laughs> you fools! I have my merrily panoply on me that you cannot bite through. It for it is magic. <laughs> Ah, I inst I use my defense move to resist you. <laughs> What's a mayor monopoly? Pa pano panoply, you uncultured swine. Oh. <laughs> this is why we must remove the dark spawn, cause they know literally Single nothing. player monopoly? What? I genuinely <laughs> thought you said he's wearing monopoly. What the fuck is he talking about? I mean about? The power of capitalism can stop anything, so... I'm imagining a man walking around with a Monopoly board strapped to his arms. Uh, oh, I actually have to roll for this. Never mind. Hold on. I was declaring victory beforehand. I, p I partially resist it, and thus some of it does leak through and hurt me, and it sucks. One of my hearts was... gets slashed through. Um... Dab. Aha, uh -huh. I got through Fleet Street, bitch. <laughs> but what about the pirates? Uh. Well, hold, um. Wait, let me, let me quickly look at something here. Um. I'm I'm not sure why I'm having a hard time finding the rules for the for dungeon attacks. Ah, oh, there we go, dungeon defense. Um Oh, that's something I forgot to do. What what did you forget? Oh, I forgot to roll engagement for when they ran in. Um uh, to see how well they would have done in general. Okay. Or like footing, yeah. There, there's, there's a lot that I keep forgetting to do because I'm not very um, in tune with the system yet. But I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, we're still quite new, and we're learning more with every session and remembering more with every session. There's only one way to learn. Yeah, yeah. by doing. Yes. Um. So. I can erase major blowback from my notes now. Ah, so so uh, yes, um, because you damage an adventure, the creature damaged the adventure. You get to you get to roll again. So 
So you 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 may you may strike at thee again, though Roll though. Keep in mind that he does have a def he he has a defense move against uh, finesse. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah you're muted, Frigal. Yeah, our ally's happening at the moment. I think someone's talking to him. Um, chill out. I'm here. Sorry, my mom gave me a sandwich. Oh, it's all good. Um, you get to roll again. Uh, how 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 do you how do you attack? How do you attack once more as the 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 mayor is trying to fight off your shroomy boys? Hmm. I think I would say finesse again as I try to go underneath all the attacks and swingies. As a defense against finesse. Hmm. I I, yes. I I've been I've mentioned this a few times now. He has a defense against finesse. Oh right, sorry. All they have is finesse, trick, and skulk. Yeah, like maybe they're being a bit more sneaky this time. Perhaps. True. Yeah, I'll they, go with. They skulk. can try and trick and feign that they're running away in panic. Yeah, they're gonna skulk. Like that. They're going. So basically, they're going to do exactly what you said, pretty much. They're going to pretend to be beaten, like, oh no, and as soon as he, like, lowers his guard a bit, they're going to pounce again. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Uh, he, he, he just brushes them away, and the mayor keeps charging, charging forward. Uh... Huh? Okay, yeah, now it's the pirates. Yeah, now it would be the pirates. And they're they're gonna they're gonna smash. And they once again fail. They get, they they, they get deflected. Fly. They're not having a good day. Um and then I stride through this foul vehicle bay and I kick over a few things and I, I take some of their stuff, and I, I swig on it, and I um, have regained whatever health I might have lost, and now I'm at three three hearts, as I now stride down to the Sanctum. How dare he? How dare he? How dare he harm Frank? He was my special little boy. Wicked ones, you hear something Somebody loud stomping down the stairs down to your lair. Oh, joy. Yes. I, I, I call upon the... I call, I call upon the shotgun. <laughs> Having and, uh, promptly reloaded my blunderbuss. <laughs> yeah, and... Again, because I think uh, my character, being the zealot that he is, I think he he is going to charge at this voice first. There is no fear in this in this kobold, at least so far. Well, well, you charge up, and you you look up and you see a a regal looking man in a cuirass and a hat, and he's got all sorts of guns and swords tied to him. He says, "Ha ha ha, vile fiend! I am Mayor Caldonis." I'm just gonna point out his hat. Because he said, like, he said he's regal looking, so I imagine he has a very fancy hat. How does it? I'm wondering how it rivals my hat. It might do. It, it's way, it's very wide, wide brimmed, and it's got like various feathers like poking out of it. Yeah, I, I'm taking his hat. Um, that is definitely now a thing. So. I'm going to so. I'm going to attack this man. How, how do you attack this man? Um I'm I'm throwing the book at him. <laughs> like I like he's 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 not a very like he he knows how to do spells, but he's not necessarily the smartest guy. He will tend to go with like the most obvious base instinct instinctual reactions first. So he's just gonna throw the fucking book of book of, of truths at him. 
preferably near his head, like at his hat. He's actually going to try and knock his hat off. How how do you do? How, okay, walk walk me uh, through walk me through this. Um, it's it's basically just like how he knocked over the uh, the prized uh, possession. He just lifts up the big book. He, he he leans right far back as the <coughs> as this mayor is probably going. Oh God, what is this little shitbag doing? And then he just launches the book at high speed right at the man's head. Really? Okay. Yeah. It, <laughs> The way I imagine it is that he he thinks he's very smart, but ultimately he is still a kobold. He lashes out with the most like like a uh, simple ideas first, and then he starts getting getting smarter when the smart stuff when the simple stuff fails. What's uh, oh. what, what action? This is going to be a smash. Oh, go for it! Let's fucking go! Four mixed. Hey. Yeah, I have I've knocked his hat off at least. So uh, I'm happy. <laughs> well, yeah. Damage so so, hey, chicken lad, greetings. The 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 uh book is gonna hit him in in the face, and the hat yes will get knocked down, and um. He's 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 going to then pull pull out one of his many many flintlocks and and just take fire at the kobold. Because yeah. that is quite yeah. upset. How dare you, vile fiend! And but it smoke billows in the hallway, and you you see. Thank you. I I drew it uh, in Krita. Um, oh, hello. this is some of my drawn. Um, and I'm gonna add on to it as this as the campaign goes, cause um. The way this this uh, tabletop game works is the players are the the lords of an evil dungeon and build out rooms in order to defeat adventurers, much like this one who has just taken a shot at at the kobold, and and unfortunately missed. I know. I I hear all the booing and and sadness. I know. The goddess protects me from As, himself. As as yeah, just sparks fly at your feet. Logins, um, uh, amidst all the uh, all the smoke. Okay, uh, am I able to do another action now? Um, yes. Yeah, so basically, how this goes is every time anyone does an action, time moves forward. There aren't turns, so um, you can do something if you want to defer to someone else. That's all right too. I actually have something I would like to do. Ooh, then go ahead, good sir. I have a sack, a bunch of loose, like, gubbins, and gunpowder. Oh, this man's gonna die horribly. This is depressing. So I'm going to essentially just fill this little bag with, like, a little, like, coin pouch sized bag with gunpowder, just start cramming scrap into it. And then shaking it vigorously. Okay. Uh, this is using Tinker to try and basically make a makeshift, a makeshift. Uh, oh, you're you're making a bomb. <laughs> you're making IED. a trap grenade. He is, he's essentially an, an IED. <laughs> good old boss. Good old bosun bomb. All right, so uh, roll roll me that thar Tinker. Is that not a birth control device? IED? Yeah. No. That's that's a I believe that's something different. It's a similar acronym, but it's it's not that. Oh. Improvised <laughs> explosive device. Oh. <laughs> that's one damn. way to prevent pregnancy. <laughs> Blow the poor lady to pieces. Oh shit. Uh. Right, so yeah, that's a success. Yeah, holy crap. We're getting a lot of successes. What the hell? How come we never got this in the other two sessions? What the hell? Oh, I, I, I'm rolling this with three dice. And I, I I can assure you that he does not have a defense against Tinker. As, um, yeah, this this explosive hits, hits him, st uh, like, straight on. And just more smoke billows around around the cave, uh, cave as 
He says, ah, 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 I will not be stopped by mere explosions. Is that my kidney? <laughs> as, as, as b more bullets ring out from, from the, uh, the fog and miss. <laughs> Just, just like, smoke billows, bullets ring out. It's this guy is enjoying himself more than anything else. Yeah, I, I get the feeling he was never a good shot, but he's a very flashy guns like gu gunner. I, like he looks fucking amazing, but he's not hitting anything. Yeah, like he, he's doing like 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 uh, revolver onslaught style tricks with his flintlocks. <laughs> is he a stormtrooper by any chance? <laughs> I mean, you try hitting people with a flintlock while you're standing in 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 deep fog, deep powdery, sulfury fog. Hold yeah, up, I, I have to take this real quick. Of course. Okay. And uh, in that case, I shall take an action now. Yeah. As, uh, this man is now in prime stabbing opportunity. And by stabbing, I mean with my sacrificial dagger. Like, because, hey, I might as well make this uh, a glorious tribute to the goddess of jealousy and fire. Sounds great. So, in this fog, um, Loggins the kobold is going to crawl behind the mayor, then jump on his back and proceed to try and stab him in the throat. Alright, you're molesting the poor man. Oh, God. No, nope, I'm shanking him with a knife. You don't know what he's into. That's disgusting. In but, your uh, opinion, we don't king shame on Nidio's channel. But in oh this case, God. it'll be a stoking roll. Go for it. I made that weird so quickly. Yes, you did. A5. Alright. I'll never roll a 6. I'll roll a 6 when no character dies, and I'll be sad. Yeah, he 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 he's easily able to butt you off before you can go for for a, a a more fatal wound. But you do describe like how you start stabbing into him. Like like how does des describe what everyone else sees? Um, what everyone sees is the kobold like jumps on him. Like he's got the knife to like the front of his neck. He's trying to like actually like impale the dagger in his neck. But because of the guy pushing him back, instead he's just made a a, a thin slice, not mm. enough to like cut any, not even enough to cut majorly into the muscle. But he is bleeding, but not in a fatal way. Like if he gets patched up, it'll be fine. But um, for now, he is he is bleeding out, just not quickly. Okay. That upset I am way too mean with my character when it comes to these books. That upsets him, so he pulls out his um his flanged mace and is gonna play a wacky kobold. Oh no. Uh Please don't play that game. I lose that game. So does he. Yes! <laughs> this is the most showy man in the world. His one his one time to shine was fighting mushrooms. After yeah. that, it just went downhill. As yeah, that he furiously like brings the mace down around you you keep jumping to the side he's just furiously trying to hit you with his mace and you just can't land a hit i am somehow dodging i know multiple people that this man reminds me of i i dodge i dodge these attacks like my character dodges alimony you can't be stopped <laughs> wow that was that was a rough joke. Yes. All right. My jokes are very bad. Okay, I do bad jokes. That's my thing. If I do a good joke, something's wrong. What do you call a fish without eyes? I don't know. <laughs> what do you call God. a sheep without legs? What? What? A cloud. <laughs> Moving on. Who would God like to take it. the next action? You know what? Let, let's give let's give let's give uh, Fergal the chance here. Like let's give him just a punch this man. He's, Go for a Fergal. He's, 
Like, he's had, he's had an explosion and a stabbing. He might as well have a punch. Sorry, I love that. I love, I love everyone's reactions. A slight giggle in this. Let's change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Virgil's just gonna, you know... Virgil doesn't see the point in drawing this out. He's just gonna... <clears throat> to the face of this poor man. You're, you're gonna Falcon punch? Yeah, just stomp over and just like... Ugh. Let's have a look. That sounds like a very smash reaction, I gotta say. Yeah. It's a success. What's up with your sixes? Why can't I have that look? Give me your look. I will take it from you, Irish man. <laughs> you, you are able to. Your your fist come comes at him, and uh. Don't tell me he's immune to punches. <laughs> I, I I'm afraid that yes, he is going to try. Well, not immune. He's going to re he. He's going to start parrying with his his mace. Like he's gonna start holding it up and like try to resist this. But don't worry, he hasn't Apologies. rolled good yet. Um oh Are these loaded? Oh What's Lord. going on? I'm rolling 2d6, right? Yeah, it says yeah, 2d6. It's, it's, it's just the the game, the dice have decided here's our easy in like tutorial encounter. So we understand how the mechanics work. Because Fergal's fist reaches right past the mace and directly into his schnoz, knocking him, knocking him back. Uh, and uh, the the mayor un undoes his armor to to lose weight and then just sprints straight up the stairs away. He goes, you have not heard the last of me. I'm Hercules. Can I, can I try and chase him down? Is that, oh, is it's that it's it's too late. He he's Damn. he's you don't underestimate a cowardly noble. Like they that can move correct. when they want to. I was just waiting to hear. This is the last you heard of me. <laughs> he just gets caught by a fucking gunfire as he leaves. That would have been funny, but but no, he he the mayor Caledonis escapes and and runs out the dungeon back to his ship and goes my man my man i've been defeated by horrible monsters we must go tell everyone else and he climbs the lifeboat and and starts to sail away like a bitch um he doesn't seem like the kind of person to say i have been defeated let's go tell everyone oh yeah i'm gonna lie so hard <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna talk about how he fought several hundred kobolds in glorious. Combat. There were thousands of them. This is a dangerous place. We must not go, for it has many many legions of enemies. And eventually, they're gonna like he's gonna die. They're gonna make a legend. They're gonna eventually come here, a massive army, and be like, "The fuck was he talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do kind of see this man as the kind of guy who starts off going, there was tens of them, and then at the next point he goes, there was hundreds, and then at the very end he's like, I was fighting thousands. Like he's always this, like increasing yeah. the number. This reminds me of the end of the Goonies when they're talking to the news and they go, and there was a giant octopus, and everyone was like, huh? Yeah, there was. Sure, cool. Uh. And sorry, uh, by sorry, the way, your your little loot number it goes up to six because you beat an adventurer. Ooh. Hey, because he dropped shinies. I, I mean, from the looks of things, whatever he was wearing is no longer shiny. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, we need to. I need to rework some parts of this dungeon. Essentially, make a, a another path of least resistance. Yeah, this kind of just told us where we fucked up. I mean, the lock was good. The the lock door worked. My trick, not so much. No, it worked for the most part. Yeah, I, th I think it's like the adventurer had a better chance of like dealing with it because he's like, hey, like I like I'm a badass. Like s creepy, scary signs aren't gonna stop him. But any kind of mook, like, they'll be fine by that. What if we get, like, a pretend brick wall? Just... 
That that that's an option. You can you can make secret doors that that operate as locks. <gasps> we should just build a wall out of Lego. <laughs> Uh, no, we can't. with Lego does not exist in this universe, unfortunately. It's not. We're not that technologically advanced. How good would that be? Because to get through, it have to break it. Then they have to risk standing on Lego. They're, they're wearing shoes. They're not barefoot. I'm sorry. It's still Lego. If you stood in fucking Lego with shoes, you can still feel that shit. Unfortunately, I will. Just... I will workshop this. Do. So we, can we have our imps carving stone Lego? No. <laughs> <laughs> On to the lurking face. Uh, the, the poor GM is slowly breaking down. Um. Anyway, I'm sorry. I had to. I had to take that uh, call. Oh, don't worry. Man. Like heavily armed cats. Very heavily armed cats. All right. So, um. Yeah, the uh, they they have left, and uh, you are able to finally start parsing through all all the various loots and and such. Uh, we're at the lurking phase, um, so now we're gonna go through recovery. All your stress goes away. Hey, let's go. Uh, yeah, I know both of them were pretty stressed. I, I had four stress. It vanishes. Uh, because you embark, uh, cause, cause you're gonna go on your, do your revelry in a second here. Yes. Uh, it's easy for me to describe, it's a crab. It's like a cockfight ring, except it's a crab. <laughs> well, yeah, well, don't worry, we'll get there. Uh... Because at the beginning of the lurking phase, you clear all stress shock and the bloody condition. Oh, so your shock goes away, too. Nice. Um, any abilities, defense, room, or gear, they're usable once per cycle rest it, reset at this time. So, yeah. Frank heals. The, the, um, the, the goblins and shrooms have their courage again and all that. And uh, you also apparently automatically attract a creature if you have a empty layer so um logins what 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 did you procure um i procured a terrifying um ca carnivorous ostrich you went outside and served wrangling ostriches yes ostriches in general are scary Yes, they are, and, and these ones have very sharp teeth and like to eat meat. Then, all right, you that creature layer now has uh, those those carnivorous ostriches, a pair of them stalking around angrily. Yeah, they are very fucking angry. Don't go near them; they will try and eat your face. Do real ostriches eat meat? No, <laughs> no, they don't. They seem like the kind of animal that will just eat whatever the fuck is there. Free magic carbon amounts to redeem name. Hey, eventually. Steven. Hey, yo. Hello. I, I am, I am very tempted to see what, I am very excited to see what he, uh, what he answers. What he answers with. Uh, okay, so, um. It says we have to count the loot. Yes. Ramon oh, vicious. Oh God, not him. Well, well, it's it's a it's going to be an alternate Ramon vicious, but but yes, there there shall be a there shall be a bard. Let it be known this day, there shall be a bard named Ramon vicious. That should and, be the person that they kidnapped. And he is an it's not, and it's an Damn. adventurer. Damn it! Yeah, he's he's a, he's an he's an actual badass. Yeah, he's he's an actual competent fighter. Not not some random guy that you you kidnapped on the street. You do not want Ramon as a character. Um Excellent. Uh so yeah, so um your loot pool is six, so I'm gonna roll six so uh wait, no, actually I don't do it. All of you do. You all roll six die. 
Do it for me. Do it. Do it now. You get six die. Do it. Sixty-six. Yeah. Okay, advanced die roller. I'll do five d six and one d six. Oh my! Wh what the hell is with that average? What the fuck? <laughs> I got four fives. Okay, for failures. Um. Oh, uh, well, here. Do... I'll I'll go this one at a time. Um, oh, where am I? Oh, I did shit. Yeah, you, uh, you you got some good stuff. I got the success. Okay, so um, oh dear, do you, uh, Fergal? Do you have a dark heart? I do. Um, well, because you got um, let's see here, you got three failures, which means you your your dark hearts are filled, uh, and. You're gonna overdo it. So, so, please describe how how does you get have all this loot and you, and you have a lot to parse. Like, how do you revel like so hard that you're overdoing it? Alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah, because you found all sorts of different rums and and drinks and such in in the in the loot that's been stolen. Mm -hmm. Alcohol is easy to go overboard. I'm sure you know. Oh yeah. So how? What? Describe Fergal's drunken rampage. He's just gonna wander around and like try to be the big boss man, you know, and like don't do this, do this instead. But just be rambling to himself while he walks, just uh, do this, walking around until he eventually passes out. Okay. Maybe kicks a couple things over. Yeah, like, exactly. Uh, you know, pushes a few imps, shouts at people a bit. Okay, so so you do you push the imps around a bit and you kind of throw your weight. Okay, um, and so you got a mixed result, which means you you gain you gain a gold coin point on your sheet. There's a little little tracker for coin. I believe there is. There is I remember seeing it somewhere. Let's find it. And uh, yep. you also pull a mundane or valuable item from the loot. You get to tell me what it is. Okay. Hmm. Mundane or valuable item. Uh, th th see, this is hard because there's so many things that I got from the loot. So many things you desire? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Fergal's gonna pull out like a Mr. T chain, you know, like the gold fucking badass chains. Yeah, you find some some nice metal chains. Yeah. Okay. But instead of wearing it on his neck, that's going around his fist. Oh, so you 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 make a like a a a, a chain fist. Delio, you use it as you use it as a, a punching weapon. I like that. Eddie the fool. Exactly. I yeah. like that. I'm taking a note from Mr. T. He had all that. He never used that shit, and he had it all there. He could have used that <laughs> for so many things. Well, now I'm taking. Do what I think he, he used it Mr. T and the T Force. Okay. That doesn't count. Logins. How many dark hearts do you have? Um, I have one. You get a second dark heart uh, through uh, enjoying revelry. And... and I get a bunch of gold. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like you get one, two, three, four, five gold. In fact, I think that's more gold than you're allowed to have. I, I've only got three, like, dots here. And um, so let me quickly... In. So let me quickly... Um discuss that yeah let's have a let's have a look here what do you do when you got too much gold um because i believe you're able to like stash stash it in the horde or or something like that uh, gold is what's left over each gold each player controls a max of three gold before the denizens get really annoyed by it um I think 
the rest of the gold just goes to like the denizens. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it gets paid out to everyone else. Yeah, it just becomes miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, so that's so so. Don't be afraid to spend your gold during downtime because um, we'll get it back anyway. you will get it back. Uh, so then, yeah, you fill up to three gold, and that's kind of it for logins. So. So yeah, describe describe your your little like your your revelry because you don't overdo it. You just have some fun. Yeah, um, I get my my kobold friends, my my fellow worshippers. We go to, to the to the chapel, and we just set we 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 pour alcohol all over the altar, and we set that shit on fire, and just start singing. And that's not the overdoing side either. That's just them. That's just what they normally do. Okay. Excellent. Um, Serge. Not only. Also, uh, that's right. Different person. I'm so I'm so you I'm so used to it. I'm sorry. Uh, Boston <laughs> Maxley. <laughs> Fucking Stephen messed up my brain. Um. You fill up your dark hearts, and apparently you hold the craziest lobster fight ever, and I'm going to deem this as overdoing it so much that you, like, damage something. So, what... I would say that... Let's set a scene here. So, what room do you target for this? Why? Let's see. What is the best place for a gambling hall? It wouldn't be with anything like big, dangerous creatures, though. Having Frank in there would actually be would be on theme, though. Yeah, because at the moment, uh, your your crab fight has caused some damage. So where where do you think the crab fight actually took place? Yeah, probably in the guard room. Oh, yes. So, um, yeah. Just describe describe what happens. How does the guard room get trashed? Okay, so yeah, as we're doing it, like, imagine all those, like, successes, those failures were actually successes in gold. I have gambled most of that away at this point. But, um, no, weapons get involved in the crab fights. <laughs> the crabs are now holding, like, someone handed, handed a crab a gun and it's, it's primal rage. Like another one is handed a knife, and the primal rage starts on like a, a, a miniature rampage, where one crab is like blowing holes in, into furniture. Oh god! <laughs> Thank with a, god with a handgun. Yeah, what one minion gets blown apart, and and yeah, it's 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 it's, it's just... quite a scene there. Oh jeez. Uh. <laughs> like and and another one has a knife, where it's just like shanking up. Things at what with wild abandon. All right. So we lose a couple imps in there. Okay. As they get, as a couple get shanked by an by a, an extremely angry crab. You also find a, a mundane or valuable item. Tell 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 me what this mundane or valuable item was. Um. I'm gonna head to the bathroom real quick. All right. Let's see. Um. So it can't really be anything like a, a, a gizmo or anything. That'd be more my shtick of making. How about let's upgrade my clothes to be much more. I get some very valuable like clothes and very nice finery. Maybe I, I raided the mayor's wardrobe. Oh, yeah, yeah, so 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 you've you've amended your wardrobe with like a lot of the the clothes and fabrics that he dropped, or or that or that I took in the raid. I mean that too is you 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 also swiped some some like linens and cloths from the the uh, shipwright as well. Yeah, but no, I like I now have some very nice like gold like gold like gold trimmed. Uh, Kind of like piratey kind of robes, like like you know like a good a nice piratey kind of jet, like 
coat and uh, uh, what are those? What are those shirts called? With the very puffy um, I, sleeves. I do not know what they are called. I have one though. A blouse? Yeah, I think it is. No. I, I don't know either, but we we get what you mean. Yeah, no, it has those. It has nice little gold, like tasteful gold trimming on the edges and things like that. Nice. Some some nice like some nice and pretty like blinged rings and things like that. He's got some bling on him now. Okay. But it's very crabby. By his own modification. Excellent. Then then yeah, you you've found yourself some nice clothes. And um now let's talk about downtime as as time starts to pass within the dungeon. Um the minions set forth on a project that I'll I'll, I'll talk about what the minions or what the uh the imps are doing in a second, but um let's go through downtime actions. Um does anyone want to, sp to spend gold, take the floor here? Um, Fergal's currently in the restroom. Um, um, I don't mind uh, doing that. Uh, what page is uh, downtime's on? Uh, downtime is 239. Or 238, actually. Um, brew, build, contact, craft, and camp recruit torture um you get a free um in camp for rituals i believe yes and you also uh, some of you guys have a ton of gold so you can also you can also f uh, flex there oh i i'm definitely fucking doing that that that, that is definitely a thing um so looking here we take one downtime action i'm going to pay one of my minions um you don't gold. have minions do i not i don't think you've recruited them yet oh no i no i don't think i did um so yeah i, th I think yeah i think this will be me like properly like obtaining minions right now if that's, if that's possible are you gonna go pay the starving kobolds on the beach yes all right so so do Descri describe the motley crew of kobolds that you hire. Oh, they are like... They, they are lanky even to kobolds. They are incredibly fucking thin. They don't look like... They look like they would struggle lifting a fucking stick. Mm. Um, they are not very... They are very malnourished. Um, they are... They're not as energetic as Loggins is. In fact, they're almost downright lazy. Mm-hmm. Until Loggins begins preaching, then they go into a fucking frenzy. Okay. And they start working really hard for like 10 minutes. <laughs> and for that 10 minutes, they are some of the hardest workers you'll ever see. And after that 10 minutes, they are unconscious, pretty much. Okay. Like, they, they have bursts of energy. And they generally look the same as, um, like, they dress the same, they're like, they wear, they wear like, right ro robes, and they put their own little designs on the robes. There you go. They're, like, I, lesser I, cultist. Yeah, I imagine one of them ha actually just straight up set his own robe on fire, and then put it out so that, like, he's only wearing half oh, a man. robe. Like, he's a, he's, a, he's a little more fanatical than the others. There you go. Um... But, like a lot of people who are, um, religious, they are quite superstitious. A bit, okay. a bit worrisome. Um, so let's... So you're saying there's about five of them? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Um... And can I then immediately upgrade them? I believe you can. How, how would you like to upgrade them, and, and how? Um, <laughs> I'm making these fuckers extendable. <laughs> um, that's not advised because expendable uh, locks you out of all sorts of other things. 
Oh, okay. It's expendable's weird because unless it's granted by a room, it basically means that you can only have them as expendable. Like they you can't upgrade them anymore. It's really okay. weird. I, I guess I kinda get it. Like like they they're not skilled in any way, shape, or form. They're just there to die horrifically to slow yeah. down the enemy advance. Where where okay, you um, you want these guys to be like adept and, and all that. Yeah, I will make them adept. Um, I forgot what that does. And I'm, I'm gonna look that up too. Um Oh, that's bookmark. Creating minions. Uh... Yeah, they are definitely acolytes. Um, adept. Your minions can cast a single tier 2 spell once per cycle. They take minus 1d on this as normal, but don't have to pay stress. Oh, that's okay. On, uh, yeah, one that, that's on page 195. Or 196 on the actual PDF. Okay. And, um... When it comes... Oh, wait, no, it's right in front of me. What am I doing? Uh... I said... Okay. Yeah, you can totally do that. Then, yeah, uh... Um... Tag your little, uh... Tag your little, looks, um... Adept dot. There you go. There we go. And, um... Am I still able to keep upgrading them? Like, can I can, can I just pour like loads of money into this? I mean, you have one more one more uh, portion of gold pieces in your in your little hoard. Ooh, yeah, that is true. There we go. I quickly <laughs> edit that to make sure it actually is correct. Um, okay, then um, I think actually for the last gold, um, let me just see the list here. Minions to perform a... I'll, 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 before, I'll pay my minions to perform a downtime action. Ooh. I'll get them to do something. What would you like them to do? Uh, now I need to try to find that page again. God dang it. Uh, where's downtime again? God, I am blind. Yeah, they... I am... Uh, that's the big thing about this book that drives me crazy is everything's in a different section. Like diametrically opposed to each other and it makes it very hard to um okay to here we rock go. sometimes yep so uh downtime projects uh they are going to um craft an item not encounter ritual actually oh you want them to help you with your ritual yes to help me do the loot finding ritual because it's only half complete. Okay. Most complete of the glorious stuff. And um, I believe they get minus one, uh, minus one D, but they are they are good at uh, invocation. So go ahead and huck a die. Oh, whoops. So like this. Um. Well, it. it well, well, like I said, minus one dice, so yeah. so that six doesn't exist. Yeah, it's, it's a two. Um, so they they do they do not uh make any progress upon it. Sadly not. But with that, my gold is gone. I have spent it all. And I imagine the gold was like pamphlets. Like it represented like pamphlets of the goddess. Okay. And and your downtime actions? Uh and my personal downtime actions, um I'm also gonna try and keep the uh the spell go the incantation going. Alright. Um, more so more like, dancing uh, around the fire on the beach. Yes. Uh two fours. Oh, that's it is complete. Nice. The ritual is complete. Well, out of four, the loot finding well, ritual fun. is complete. Uh, the the loot finding ritual. So so yes. Um, what? Okay, so so this uh, it's it's a um. 
This this is a this is a uh it was tier two, correct? I believe so, yeah, because um it actually had a, a like a timer associated to it. Um, I think all rituals have timers. But it should say on your sheet. Oh, you didn't write it down. Okay. Um. <laughs> there is no way to write it down on the sheet from the looks of things. Uh, there's notes. Ah. For some reason, your minion, your minion's notes and your notes are linked. Huh. Ooh. So anything you write in the minion section of notes also appears in your section of notes and vice versa. That's strange. I think it's a, I think it's a, a, a glitch or an error. Okay. And how the sheet's kind of set up. Um. Oh well, I know the easy, the easy way to figure this out. We, because uh... this is one of the suggested ones for your god, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, then yeah, we can easily just look it up. Um, let's see here. Dark arts, dark arts, dark arts. Dark arts. Do, 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 do. Why am I not seeing this? There it is. Channeling Gamosha. I found oh, cool. that's right. You you wanted to do it as a tier two. That's right. Yeah, just like oh, I can. I've discovered something about the uh, dungeon duty sheet. Huh? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You, you figured out how to roll it. There you go. Yep. I like I, I like can, that. Yep. I can, I can also say tier one monster giant crab. Tear on trap hero sandwich. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we can we can do that now. That's awesome. Um Yeah, saying saying here that a, a tier two has a moderate impact on the story. So this is a Alright, so like the crazy. Then yeah, story. how does this fire illuminate your way towards towards treasure? The way I imagine it is the smoke begins to coalesce and like slither around. And it forms like a, a big circle, like in front of um, logins, and within that smoke, it separates, and it's basically a picture perfect, like sh shot of a scene, like of an area. And um, I'm gonna say, because am I allowed to describe the actual loot, or is that not allowed? Um. I mean, like, 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 what do you, what do you, what do you propose it is? I am proposing it is the, um, oh, fuck, come on, Brain, you can do it. It is a jeweler's shop. Oh, yeah, then, then yes, Gamosha graces you with the vision of a, of a jeweler's shop. And it is just filled to the brim with stuff. And so Logan sees that, he he burns the memory into his mind. Like, he does not want to forget that ever again. It and is so he's beautiful gonna... to him. Oh god, yeah, like, it's, like... He's practically in love with this jewelry shop already. He's like, I need this. Oh, man. He probably tries reaching out to grab the jewels, but then he just falls through the smoke and he gets a little sad. But then he's like, then he redoubles his motivation. Okay. So that was your 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 free invocation. Uh, do you yeah. want to do another downtime action? Your 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 final one. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do a tier one now. Of a of a ritual. Like so, something a bit more minor. And um, it's going to be because I I, I I don't want to make it go like I don't want to try and use any of the examples this time. This is going to be figuring out my own. Okay. Like wants me to. Um, what I'm gonna do is, um, he's going to ca cast a ritual that's going to affect the fishing village that we're just in. Um, essentially, so? he's about to. He's gonna make. Um, this is the. This is gonna be the pettiest fucking thing he can think of. Um, he's about to turn 
all the co already caught fish taste like smoke. Just like like they've just breathed in a fucking bonfire. He's being mildly inconvenient to, to the fishing village. <laughs> Okay. And it's only for the stuff that's just being that's already being caught. Any other thing they normally catch will taste completely fucking fine. I'm I'm going to I'm going to say this is this is a a a two a a two section clock because yeah. it's a very it's a tier 1 ritual and it's pretty minor and it's mostly an annoyance. Yeah, like they say it's meant to have, have a minor impact. Like like the most the biggest description says like you raise some skeletons. As a as a minion pack, and I'm like, eh, I I don't think he would go that far with, with like importance. So he's just being annoying. Go for it. All right, then yeah, roll roll your invocation for this new ritual. Like, Loggins is a, is a petty fucker. A six. Then yes, you. D d how so? How do you do this? What describe the 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 scene of this dark ritual? There's this very infamous dark ritual where he he goes to the ocean, he grabs a random fucking fish. Does it, it's probably a really small fish too, I doubt it's anything like, like impressive. He runs to the fucking chapel, he puts it on the altar, he he declares a a terrible curse that whoever shall eat fish this day in this exact location they will taste the bonfires of hell. He's mi and the thing is, is he's talking to like a tiny little fucking fish. He's he's not even holding his knife. He's not even holding his book. He's sounding I, like someone who's just complaining. I mean, your your clerics are are sitting in the pews. They're like, yeah, woo! Yeah. Oh yeah, they're fucking super excited. <laughs> but to anyone else looking at this, this is petty shit. Like it, it, it's almost embarrassing. Absolutely. But but yes, the I love it. Gamosha answers your your dark prayers and taints the fish for that day. Yay! <laughs> and and the upon the the mayor's arrival, he hears of this. It's like, no, this cannot be. They have cursed my lands. <laughs> they will pay for this. And I know it was them. I was Mayor Count. I am Mayor Countonis, proud mayor of this land, of Malcor's tears. I just imagine he he introduces himself in third person every time he goes somewhere. He's like, "Hi, it is me, Mayor Countonis." He yeah, is a third is person so person. Dead. Yes. Um. Any. Anyways. Uh, dramatic. Uh, Fergal, Bosun, would would uh, would you like to go do embark on downtime next? Uh, if you have some, go ahead. Uh, chill out. I don't. Uh, you have a downtime action. You can you and you have gold. Okay. I'm going to. Torture a prisoner. Go for it. Uh, you you have a prisoner, so you can torture him. Yeah, I'm gonna just for fun. I'm just gonna torture the show. You know, little things like hang him upside down from his ball sack from the ceiling. I'm not sure. Think of the oh, Okay, okay. Think, think, of, think of the puppies and kittens, everybody. Puppies and kittens. I don't. I don't think That's I. That's torture. Oh wait, I do have this here. Ha ha. Think of the puppies and kittens, guys. Just, just don't. This is a fictional land, and and we gotta we gotta think of the puppies and kittens. And yes, then I do not condone torture of any kind. Yeah, no, wait. I, I, I knew I had the forethought to put that slide in. Um. But 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 yes. Um, roll. What what action would you like to use to torture? Uh, I'm no. What, I don't know. What do you mean by what action? Like what action would you like to roll to to torture this man? Do you get information? 
or or what have you because because that's the the because um uh torturing prisoners is a one of the main ways you get intel 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 on the uh the overworld and so you can get information from it oh i can use threaten right yeah yes yes you can you can use threaten. sure can you just put him in a corner and shout at him until he until he answers oh, damn it um, you, you are unable to get anything out of him. He, he just keeps babbling in light tongue about all sorts of various things. Damn you. Okay. I don't wish to do anything else. Um, how much gold do you have? In my little gold points, I believe I have two. Well, would you like to spend a gold on something, or or um, or do anything like that? Like you can pay your minions to do something if you want. Even pay I mean, I'll t I'll, yeah, I'll... I'm gonna upgrade a minion. Okay, how would you like to upgrade your shroomy boys? Can I make them? Mm. I can make them fluent. You can. You. <laughs> the, these mushroom cat like bo piranha boys learning how to speak light tongue now, so now they can insult you while they eat you. Is. Well, I want them to learn light tongue purely so they can be like hiding and like whisper and whisper in the caverns, and people are like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> then, then yes, uh, that... you you may indeed pay gold pay a gold to to teach them to be. F fluent in light tongue which they speak with an act with a with a thick accent i don't know how i'm teaching them to be fluent in light tongue i can't speak light tongue but sure well that's why you have a guy that you're 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 that's beating true. on because i'm imagining that's how you're doing it is is you you pay yeah. you pay your minions to to uh sit through your your little session here to to you don't get any information but they learn how to speak light tongue yeah Adorable. As I can just like imagine a little shroom person just sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, little cross-legged shroom people. Jeez. I mean, crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Um. Okay, so that's Thregel. Uh, Bosun Maxile. As I, as always, I have no gold, so I can't really recruit minions. Instead. I mean, you could use your downtime to try and recruit. I'm not very good at any kind of like uh, banter of any sort. Mm. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a tier two lock leading into the vehicle bay. Okay, you wanna you wanna begin a construction. All right. Um, what what kind of what kind of lock are we talking about here? Well, it's going to be like a secret, like a, a secret entrance. Ooh. So it's going to be disguised as like a, um, as like a, as like a, uh, a display shelf. Where, where you display various like trophies and whatnot. And it's going to be so that I, uh, when you, ins so you have to essentially pull like pull and push various items and uh essentially solve this with a with a that uh changes for every now once in a, which uh, changes every once in a while so you have to uh pull and push various items to and move them around on the shelf to cause it to swing to slowly and ominously swing open leading into the vehicle bay Okay. Okay. Um Sure. We uh begin let's begin your new project then. Sorry to disturb we're we going for much longer. Um not really. We're actually about to wrap up. Okay, cuz I have some shit are, I need to get to. Are are you are you drifting away? 
Yeah, slightly. Yeah, I know Loggins is dying too inside. He he is also in your time zone. Um, but don't worry, we are almost done. We are almost done. I'm, I'm gonna roll my tinker. Okay. And can I throw in a dark heart? You sure can. That's a bonus of one. Yep, you get a die. That did that do it? Um. So close. You, you, the, the, the project is completed, uh, uh, up to, it gets three segments. It has one segment left. So most of the door is done, but you could still kind of get past it easily enough. I haven't quite installed the locking mechanism yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the project is almost complete. That is, that is good. Because I, I noticed that um, the vehicle, what I'm planning on doing is uh, installing the lock here and then continuing the dungeon off of the guard room uh, to go further e eastwards on the map. I like it. And, and essentially loop back into the vehicle bay before heading down to the second floor. Sounds good. Which you can then fill with even more evil nefariousness. All right, and now the imps get their downtime, and uh, they they see what you're doing, and they're like, help, 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 and they have their little the little pickaxes and and they start chiseling to help like fix and build build the little mechanism for you. So they're they're going to they're going to see if they can help you. Um. But they kind of just get in the way. You have a bunch of imps just working around with you, and they're chiseling, and they're they're working on springs, and uh, it doesn't look like they they actually know how to set up the door that you want. They're 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 mostly just getting in the way as there are a bunch of imps running around helping you. Eh, whatever. But and so finally, let's talk XP because. Um, we have survived to the end of our first proper session where we got through all all this like the major stages um completed one one round essentially yeah so um let's see here there cuz there's Okay, so no one gets reckless XP because no one uh, played into being bloodied or going feral. Um, no, I just played into a dark impulse. Uh, but it was funny. I'll give you that. <laughs> so you definitely made progress on your master plan, so everyone gets a point. Um, did, I, don't, I don't think you really jumped into other people's scenes all too much. Mm, I, I I don't think we did. We kind of mainly just stuck to our own. But yeah. you but you definitely acted like monsters. So every so everyone gets that a second XP point, and I'm gonna also say that you you all use your gear or supply in very creative ways this session. So so everyone should be walking away with it from this with uh, three points. I am one off. God damn it! So close. Oh, so my. Ah. I am one off too. I'm four off. Yeah. And um let's see here. Is there any other kind of XP that we track here? I do not think so. Um No, nah, but that was that was wicked sales. The the uh you attacked a fishing village, it attacked back. And you you valiantly defeated their their mayor, and he bravely ran away. You you mean Mayor Caldonis, greatest mayor who has ever been seen walking across the land. Greatest living mayor of them all. Exactly. Should, I feel like we should write a um like a, a theme song for the guy. I know, right? <laughs> the Bilbo Baggins song was that we stuck in my head. No thanks. <laughs> I watched that the other day, by the way. Um. And it, it it was awesome. What, uh, wait, watch what? The the uh the seventies Hobbit. 
Uh, I only knew the song. I've never heard of it or seen it. Oh, have you never watched the 70s Hobbit? It, there's a lot of no. singing in it, and it's animated. It's really good. Um, I don't see anyone... Uh, well, Daniel is in Dice is on. Let's... Let's see here. Any Chill out. What Want to talk about what you do for a second? While I look for someone to raid here? Sure. I actually have a really special stream coming up. Oh, no shit. What's going on? So, in light of the Friends reunion, uh -huh. which I think a lot of people have heard of, <laughs> uh, I bought the Lego Central Perk set, and I'm setting up for the Friends apartment set, and I'm going to be building them on stream and having a uh, Friends quiz where viewers can come in. The winner of the quiz gets a Lego Friends keychain. Hey. So, I... Don't know exactly when that's happening. It depends when my set arrives, because Lego don't give an estimated delivery day for some reason. Well, that would be convenient. Yeah, it was very annoying. Plus, they took uh, uh, over forty minutes to give me my receipt. Oh wow! To an email. It was I spent the money. It was like seventy bucks, and I was like, I took my money, and it's, uh, I have, the site says nothing about my purchase. Oh, that like, that's well, so BS. Be um. <laughs> Any anywho, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What do I have coming up? Um, oh, I am gonna actually start streaming again pretty soon. Uh, I'm probably gonna take an hour to to refill my coffee and and eat a little bit. But I'm gonna be playing more um, Necromunda Hired Gun, which I really enjoy. Um, it makes me really want to play the tabletop war game so freaking much. I really love that game. It's just, it's hard to make people sit down to, for it because people get so, like, angry that their characters can get, like, hurt and wounded permanently and it kind of <laughs> turns them off. I'm very sorry, but I am going to have to dip. Oh, it's all right. We're literally about to raid out right now. Uh, we're going to go bother Telling Tales RP. They're playing Blades in the Dark and... Um, which is what this rule set is based on. We're going to go harass him. Y'all have a good night. Boosh. Have a good night. All right. Thanks for having me.